This week on Daily Architecture News. A bold vision to build a floating swimming pool in New York's East River is one step closer after the project has been given approval to continue with logistics planning. The initiative proposes a floating pool in the shape of a plus symbol. It's also water filtering, meaning that it's designed to process the very water that it floats in, making it possible for New Yorkers and its visitors to swim in clean river water, something that hasn't been encouraged since 1938. The not-for-profit Plus Pool project was co-founded by the Family and Play Lab Design Studios more than 10 years ago. While Family has since dissolved, Play Lab continues to spearhead the project, fueled by the belief that Plus Pool will become a place for everyone. Founded in 2007, LA-based furniture maker Calon Studios is known for simple functional forms and a quiet, understated aesthetic. The latest collection from the studio, titled Highland, calls upon the rugged expanse of California's oak-laden, golden-hued hillsides. Made in a generous scale and cut from solid oak, the proportions of the furniture pieces seek a balance between substance and elegance. In a nod to brutalism, the collection plays with slab-like cantilevered forms and imperfect curves. While the campaign imagery was captured in the Lovell Health House by celebrated modernist architect Richard Neutra. Mad Architects, led by Ma Yansong, has released a preview of the designs for the Jiaxing Civic Centre. Shown to enjoy elegant river views amid lush vegetation, the Civic Centre is to be situated along the city's central axes. The project holds a prominent position adjacent to the South Lake and the city's central park. The site also lies next to the Haiyan River Channel that connects the two cities of Jiaxing and Haiyan. Spanning approximately 130,000 square metres, the precinct contains three venues, the Science and Technology Museum, the Women and Children Activity Centre and the Youth Activity Centre. MAD has designed an artistic entity on an urban scale where architectural forms and landscapes fuse together. With a large circular lawn as the centrepiece, the project is one where both people and buildings unite to form a more open, intimate and dynamic urban space. To maintain the cohesiveness of a single entity, the three venues serving exhibition, education and amenity functions are all coherently arranged under a curvaceous roof, naturally forming an interdependent group with a flowing line of movement. A hole in the wall Tuckeria has emerged in the Roma Norte region of Mexico City. A reimagined neighbourhood whose once upper class footpaths are now frequented by cuisine seeking hipsters. Located among the city's gastronomic melting pot, where eclectic bars, restaurants, and clubs rub shoulders with vibrant Mexican culture and early 20th century architecture, this is the Los Alexis Taco Restaurant, the latest interior design work of local creative studio Ra. The Los Alexis Tuckeria measures in at only 15 square metres, but the small footprint was certainly no coincidence. The space reinterprets the scale, colour and food-focused theatrics of a taco-selling changaro, the name given to the type of small shops that line the city's roadsides. You can catch up on all of these stories and more online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.